Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to Section 8 is Great. This is your boy John coming back with another Section 8 Landlord Tip. And this is like a motivational day. And I'm going to tell you what I've been going through. Guess what I've been going through? I've been going through complacency. See, I've been in this game for a while. And as you know, when you've been in this game for a while, what happens? All of a sudden your money gets right and you're going to get money. Your money's going to get right real fast, deal with Section 8 properties and investing. Then all of a sudden you start making more than you need taking your family on vacations. You got multiple properties, all streaming income. Then you start doing other businesses. Then all of a sudden you start getting in something called protection mode. And that's the downfall of it all. Because once you get into protection mode, then you start protecting what you have and you stop thinking about building and growing. Only thing you're thinking about is protecting what you have. And that could be a downfall or the start of a downfall. So I've been getting a lot of calls lately um, from people all across the country, and I really appreciate it. Um, a guy named Sam in Virginia has been calling me, um, and he's doing great things out there. Um, he got bold down in Texas, and he's down in, um, I think, um, the, um, the Houston area telling me about deals he's pulling through. And um, recently, Jerome from um, Detroit. Now, talking to those people and finding out how hungry they are, let me know that people out there are hungry. And I remember, I see these people that are younger than me. And they're out there grinding. They're doing the impossible. They're buying properties. Some people buying properties for $1,000. And I think that was Jerome down in Detroit. Buying properties for $1,000. Two unit buildings. Putting them together. Finding a way to go ahead and put them on Section 8. Bo down in Texas is doing the same thing. Buying properties for $5,000. $6,000. Making it happen. And what I found out with my life is that since I'm comfortable, I'm, stop, I'm starting to slow down my growth process. So thanks to, thanks to several, about the four or five people that have been calling me, talking to John, I've been able to come up with a new plan to try to regenerate myself and I had to put myself in taking more risks. Without any risk, there's no reward. So all you guys out there with these comfortable jobs, that you're not doing anything, that you're not even doing anything to make sure that you can grow, it's hard to be, become successful with Section 8 because it's a risk and believe it, all these people that I discussed earlier know it's a risk and they feel it's a risk, but they willing to do the hard work because they see the payoff. They're out there grinding every day. That's what we need to do. So thanks to some of these people, I'm going to start investing in different states now. I'm going to go ahead and start buying more Section 8 properties and more business. I'm going to put myself in an uncomfortable position, even though I never will always lose, but I'm going to put myself in an uncomfortable position. How many times are you going to put yourself in an uncomfortable position? When you have a job, how many times are you going to read a book, read 10 pages a day? How many of you guys are going to make a plan or an outline or something that's going to do to make yourself wealthy? Because without the effort, there's no reward. I just told my kids the other day that when they go to school next year, I want them to make themselves uncomfortable 100 times. I want them to meet new people, try new things. Because I know only when you become uncomfortable will we will ever see the growth. So you have to be uncomfortable. So a person like me that put myself uncomfortable earlier, but now I saw the growth and now I'm getting comfortable again. So what does that tell me? It makes me have to go ahead and be uncomfortable again. It's just like somebody like Floyd Mayweather. I'm not saying I have money like him or even close or even a little bit, but I'm talking about how this man has so much money and makes so much time, has so many titles and still goes out there to train again after he has everything. And then you see the guy like McGregor, the fighter also that got made all the money. Now he doesn't want to do anything else. It's all about that. So I want to make sure I'm not in a position. I want to make sure you're not in a position to stop growing, to stop working hard. And thanks to some of my young subscribers out there, the people who follow me and trust what I'm saying, they got me rejuvenated. So I'm going to show you a new property I'm putting together and some new things that I'm coming. So I should be finished with one of my other properties this week. And I got a whole video I'm going to show you about how I take this one property, how it looked before and after. We're doing before and after and how we're going to mix this and get it out to Section 8. And I'm going to even try to interview a Section 8 tenant. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Make sure that when you subscribe to me, make sure that you go ahead and get the book. Uh, make sure you support me by getting the book. This is the start of it all. This will give you a little bit of motivation to get you going, okay? And you go to my website, wwwsection 8 is great to go get this book. Also, don't forget to go ahead and pick up some of the gear. This is some people that have everything already. They don't want to keep on supporting. They can go ahead and get some of the gear.
get some of the t-shirts just support me so I can keep on doing what I want to do but I'm not you know I'm not begging you guys I just want you to do it if you want to if not it's okay I'm going to be okay but I love you guys thanks for tuning in um, we're gonna be talking about making sure that um, like this video is all about being un make sure that you stay uncomfortable and uncomfortable is the only way that we're gonna grow okay talk to you later bye bye